So this is the box sending to me from US from War Machine Paintball. Inside is the Christopher Field Marshall um, Mandalorian Blaster from the series. And yeah, I will open the box and look what's inside. And then we will see how I put it together and how we do the paint job. So I opened it, cut it out with a knife and now we see what's inside. So here we have for the first the display stand for the, the blaster. Written. Thank you for your purchase of the limited edition Mandalorian blaster from Field Marshal Warshin. Yep. Before you open your components for the blaster, please download the complete assembly instructions and verify all parts in each assembly. Follow the building diagram to assemble your blaster. Yep, we will do this and um, then we will see. So, these are the wooden grips. And here are yeah, the parts. Oh, I see. I must clean this before I paint it. And yeah, looks like a little bit more work than I thought. Display stand. So, okay, more losing parts. Here's the trigger. Some screws. That's the shaft. The end of the gun. more screws and now the box is empty so yeah then we will see how we put that all together and here we go for a closer look for every parts this one here are for the other side from the gun, from the pistol. And this is the other side, actually. Here you can see all dirt on it. And yeah, now. I have to clean everything.
so we're here back again and here I'd like to show you how I finished finished the wood here with some um, yeah walnut stain from Birchwood Casey I find this this kit here um, it comes with walnut stain true oil finish and um, stock sheen and conditioner yeah inside here in this case are uh, and guide which is for declaration how you you do it so that you don't make anything don't make anything wrong here yeah and it comes with with some with some with some tools too and then I would set we start in the refreshing guide is written that we have to to use for new wood um, some some sanding paper here with 120 and 180 and I, I cut here a little bit off to use this and then we start with the sanding. Next step is 280 sandpaper, same procedure. So the last step is here for preparation the 400 grit sandpaper and then we, we do it again. And when you think you don't need to do this, you're wrong. It feels much, much more better after grinding. And I believe when you, when you add later the stain, um, it, it will be super smooth and, and um, excellent to touch at it. So, so that you don't have any wood rests on your hands. So that it feels really, really good. So I will go on now with the first coat of walnut stain. I will apply it with the towel that comes with the set. I, I um, cut here then a small stripe out and then um, I use the, the Birchwood Casey Walnut Stain um, to apply it with this towel here. Yeah, and um, for that I wear some gloves and yeah, let us start. <laughs> 